Hi everyone and welcome to the Star Wrapper tutorial. Today we're going to continue talking about designing for 3D metal printing. In this episode, we'll be looking at limitations and some useful design tips for creating overhangs and bridges. We'll start off with overhangs. We've printed a benchmark going from 0.1mm to 1.5mm overhang. When printing overhangs, the main thing to look out for is the down surface area collapsing. This generally happens when the overhang is more than 0.5 millimeters. So how do we avoid a collapse? You have two options. The first one is to build your overhang with supports. This is fairly straightforward, but does add a bit of time in the build process. Your second option is to redesign the down surface area. If the shape of the underside doesn't have to be flat, you can redesign it to act as a natural support in the building process. This will negate the need for supports and stop the down surface area from collapsing. So when it comes to creating overhangs over 0.5 millimeters, you need to either build them with supports or redesign the down surface area. Now let's look at bridges. In this benchmark, we've printed bridges going all the way up to 5 millimeters. As you can see, the bridge distances above 2.5 millimeters have all started collapsing. So when you're building bridges larger than 2 millimeters, you again have two options. The first option is to build with supports. Your second option is again to redesign the shape of the down surface area. For bridges, there are two shapes. The first one is an arch and the other one is a diamond tip. As you can see, when redesigning in this fashion, the larger bridge distances don't collapse. That's all we have for this episode. Thanks for watching. In our next episode, we'll be talking about self-supporting angles and materials. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our page so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until next time.